We continue to show how to use QRadar to help detect fraud in applications that are not uh, networking related. Uh, so for example, we have here uh, a, a set of logs. Uh, this is actually a mock-up application called Counterparty. This is another uh, example that uh, Chris Hankin from Dallas provided me. In, in here we can see, you know, Typical thing that you'll see in a custom build application like withdrawals, uh, amount of the withdrawal, whether it's a terrorist country, the country of origin. And what we want to do is create simple rules around this. Let's say that we want to start with a rule that highlight any transaction that is uh, above uh, $26,000. So this one, for example, should be uh, picked up. How do we uh, do that? So the first thing that we need to do is add a log source uh, that uh, as we have shown uh, before and this is the actual log source that we did in the past creating a log source for a custom build application in curator was not uh, something trivial you need to build that lsx that was kind of a little bit cryptic uh, and uh, some some people even hire services for that now with 728 you have a visual editor that allows you to create that that file uh, very very easily. So now you can bring along more uh, non-networking applications uh, logs uh, into Curator. So once you uh, add the that uh, counterparty uh, log source, all you need to do really is uh, write an offense. And let's see the the, the offense that we wrote for this. It's as simple as putting an AQL query. It says transaction among which is one of the properties that we will extract from that log is greater than 26,000. It is that easy. Let's actually play these uh, logs that we see here and, and see the actions uh, working. We're going to play this very simple uh, shell script that we can see the... I, I, I cut the file here so you can see the uh, instruction to replay those log files that you saw in that CSV file before. And when we do that, we start seeing all those uh, events uh, uh, firing here in Curator. So I pause the logs and let me click on any one of those. And, and so we see that this looks like a networking event, but it's really not. I mean, we use the same te terminology, the same technology, the same way of using Curator to process these logs. And we created, uh, when we were extract, uh, creating the, the, the log source, uh, we created some custom properties to extract things like the transaction amount, which is what we are interested in here. But we also put the country, the terror flags. Uh, so, uh, so this is the parameter that we are going to be comparing and for any transaction that makes it bigger than uh, 26,000 we should take some actions. And the actions are specified, you know, once the, the, the condition for the rule fires, uh, the actions that we wanted to do is actually create a new event called high amount transaction occur uh, and, and fire an offense. I pause the logs again uh, to show you that that uh, event that we actually uh, wanted to occur when the uh, transaction is exceeded uh, shows up so we can actually see it here and if we go to the offenses tab we can actually see the offense uh, uh, being created calling our attention for a transaction that we wanted uh, to be monitored is that easy let's show another example a little bit more complex just to show you how easy this thing is. I have a rule here that I have uh, disabled when I played the, the rules uh, before. And uh, this, in this time what we want to do is detect any transaction that is uh, above $1,000 that is going to a country that has that uh, terror flag set up true. So if we remember in the logs we have that terrorist uh, flag uh, selected there. So we're going to be use that condition and the amount of money. And when those two meet uh, in, in, uh, in this AQL statement, then we're going to do uh, uh, similar things as before. We're going to uh, dispatch an event, a terrorist haven transaction, and we are going to be fired on an offense. 
So we're going to leave this uh, offense here that the, from from the uh, previous use case, and we are going to. Uh, oh, I forgot to enable the rule. Let me actually uh, go ahead and do that. I'm selecting that offense and I actually enabling it. And now I can uh, me go put the offenses tab. Let me get the logs so we can see them all playing again. And let's uh, replay the very same logs, but now we are looking for another condition. And here they are again, the same type of updates uh, that, that we saw before. I just post the logs and we can see that one of those events that we actually ask uh, when the rules are met and the offense is fired uh, to be dispatched. And if in the offenses tab we see the new uh, offense uh, being generated as uh, requested by the rule that we did before. It is that easy to now bring more things, more log sources into Curator to help detect fraud. And imagine when you combine this with some networking event that for example if it's an outsider who gain access to your network and then perform some 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 actions imagine combining the two things together Curator will do automatically that for you if, for example if the source IP is the same uh, and it's going to be uh, showing you the whole story in, in offense so the offense will not look as simple as this but it will have also uh, uh, you know something like remote scan uh, unsuccessful login followed by successful login, privilege escalation, and then you know you get uh, this uh, type of data update.